Technology moves really fast. And now in the world of auto, I've been genuinely curious about how companies are innovating. I'm sat in a car at the heart of all this innovation, Snapdragon booth, India Mobile Congress, with the real goat of innovation, someone I love having a chat with about technology, Savvy Swan. What a pleasure to have you in the passenger seat. This means you trust my driving skills. Absolutely, especially on a Fiat. <laughs> I know. I mean, thankfully, oh, money. <laughs> thankfully, we're back to stick, but it's not the old that's school right, stick. Right. But we will talk about the old and new, the young and old, and tech in all its splendor, Savvy. This has been a fascinating experience. As always, I see you at MWC Barcelona. I see you uh, at so many Snapdragon events. But here, this seems like AI is the way to go and 6G is genuinely here to stay. Is that is that a fair assumption? Absolutely. I think uh, our CEO, by the way, good to have you here. Thank you very much for Thank coming. You, sir. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. Um, I think we're very excited about sort of uh, India in general and actually IMC in 2025. You'll see a lot of very interesting demos here from all the way from 6G demo that we're showcasing. Our CEO talked about the pre-commercial devices in 2028. So we have a target now and yeah. that's what we are going towards. In fact, we talked to a lot of carriers about 6G, very interested on 6G uh, and how do we create that India ecosystem around 6G. So a lot of good partnerships to be had there. You'll see AI everywhere. Uh, and you know, people were asking me, um, you know, what are the use cases and so on and so forth. And I kind of um, came up with this, uh, you know, on the fly came up with this. It's like garam masala uh, <laughs> for, you know, you, for an Indian cuisine, garam masala is in every everything you make, right? There, so yeah. you look at AI, we have uh, pictures that are getting enhanced with AI. You're seeing, you know, natural language processing happening, uh, happening with on PCs. You're seeing in the car, you're seeing this cockpit with Gen AI in it. You are seeing a lot of different places where we are actually integrating. You're seeing communication yeah. being improved with, with AI. So we're seeing, you'll see a lot of demos here about how we are enhancing uh, products and techno and user experience with AI that's embedded, mm -hmm. right? It's not just about Gen AI and prompts. It's about AI and everything that we do. The 6G ready by 2028, that is a serious deadline, Savi. Do you think that you know, from all your conversations with some of the leaders here, uh, from the policy side, from from the business side, is that a realistic expectation? The whole 6G ready, is 6G really coming that soon? You know, uh, uh, I think we are, I think obviously our CEO has put a line in the sand and our company is actually now very focused and it has been for the last few years on 6G and 6G timing, right? But remember, it's about pre-commercial devices, That's right? I think, look, um, it, it it's a call to action. I remember when we did 5G, it was similar. It's a call to action for the OEMs to get ready. Mm. It's a call to action for the carriers to get ready with use cases, right? It's a call to action for the uh, app guys, right? For the social media guys to say, okay, this is what you can do with 6G. Interesting. Start planning your products around that, right? So it takes an entire ecosystem to get ready for 6G and that's the stuff that we are actually now focused on. And since we're in a car, I think the next uh, logical step would be Gary. But no, on a serious note, if we were to talk about auto and the focus lastly with Snapdragon on auto, we see some of the tech here on display. I mean, this is great from a marketing perspective to do this in a Padmini, of course, with nostalgia. But these cockpits, are genuinely machines of the future where tech really will matter. And I think there's a huge focus with Snapdragon on auto as well. That's right, very much so. I think we are working with all the Indian OEMs and bringing our technology, especially in the cockpit, as well as connectivity, as well as, well as charging as well. So, and, and ADAS now. So a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of these learnings we have from our uh, mobile that we are bringing into, you know, the cockpit, for example, right? So. Um, you know, all of these OEMs, it's very interesting when I go talk to these OEMs, um, uh, I, I remember a meeting that we had at CES right. and they almost didn't want me to talk about the auto roadmap. They wanted to talk to us about how the experiences of a smart glass in a car. They wanted to talk about how the phone interacts with the cockpit, mm. right? A lot of these use cases that you're seeing um, is what's happening in the car and around the car. V2V, right? V2X. That's right, that's right. So we are very excited about uh, actually helping the Indian OEM sort of, um, you know, leapfrog in terms of where they are and where they need to go. 
and providing that technology. You could see that in the BEV uh, from Mahindra. I think that's just the starting point. And I think we're very excited about where we're headed with the auto business in India. Absolutely. And I'm more power to Snapdragon because I was speaking to someone in Silicon Valley who works on autonomous cars. And he said, the only challenge we'll ever face in making this a truly global technology is making it work in India. Well, it's only Snapdragon with your insights and partnerships here that can probably make driverless cars one day. Well, a pipe dream may be a reality, I think. Yeah, but I think in, in India, I always, uh, one of the things I learned in the last two years is you can cut and paste tech from other places, right? That's so, true. you know, what we are looking at is maybe there are other features in autonomous that are more relevant in India than, you know, driverless, right? Like in, how can autonomous help you create a better experience, right? Uh, especially now, you know, the road conditions with all the Absolutely. rain that we've had, right? So, so I think we're very excited that we're finally focused on Snapdragon in India for India, right? Where we are actually innovating with our partners on what's relevant in India, right? Rather mm -hmm. than, you know, what we're doing in Germany and make trying to make that work here, right? So I think that's what we're very excited about. And, I think you'll see a lot of new launches next year and the year after that we're actually in the process of working on. Spot on Savi, we'll be tracking that as always. What a pleasure chatting with you. And maybe we should genuinely take this for a spin the next time we meet. I would love to drive in. <laughs> we're going to swap seats. Thank you so much for watching and thank, thank you, you for buddy. joining us. Thank you very much.